Hey guys, so if you guys want to see this broccoli cheddar soup from start to finish, then keep on watching. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need chicken broth, half and half. You're going to need broccoli, butter, cheese, and then we also have some carrots, garlic, and some onions. So this is the ingredients that you're going to need. We're going to need some additional seasonings later but um, we'll show you that in a few minutes once we start cooking and prepping everything so here we have our broccoli cut up in big pieces smaller pieces um i really wanted them a little bit smaller but my sister got, went ahead and cut it the way that she wanted to um it really doesn't matter because once you start cooking the soup and it starts boiling then all the broccoli like falls apart the longer you let it cook so we did two onions we did half a bag of carrots i had to dice them up in little pieces because the ones we had they were bigger and then we did eight cloves of garlic because we love garlic in this house um we did see a couple recipes um that called for only like two head um two cloves of garlic but we went ahead and did eight and it was so good that way so you do whatever you want in your kitchen So here we're going to head and add a whole stick of butter and just let this melt. I know that it seems like a lot, but we are making a huge pot of soup. So if you're not going to make a lot, you can always use half a stick of butter. But we have do have a lot of vegetables that are going into the pot. So here our butter is melted. So we're just going to add our carrots, onions, and our eight cloves of garlic. So we're just going to let this cook together get translucent sweat up a little bit and then we'll proceed to the next step so now that my vegetables are good enough soft enough how i want it i am going to be adding one third cup of flour um and we're just going to cook this together make sure that the flour is cooked through and that there's no raw pieces or anything like that of flour or chunks if that makes any sense because we don't want that so we're just cooking this off for a few seconds and then you can see how thick it's already getting look how good so far so we're just gonna add right now a little bit of the chicken broth at a time just so that we can mix everything together and um we did just one carton of chicken broth so go ahead if you want to add a little bit more of chicken broth or water if you don't have enough then you can always do that as well but here we're just going to continue to add our chicken broth and move everything around make sure that everything is mixed well together and then we'll continue So right now, you guys, I'm going to start adding my broccoli a little at a time, you guys. It's going to look like it's not enough liquid to broccoli, but it's going to work out because we are going to be using some half and half next. So we're just going to uh, mix the broccoli in and let it do its thing and then just let it cook slowly so that the broccoli could start breaking up and getting soft. Okay, you guys, so right now we're going to be adding our half and half. We actually bought a quart, so that's exactly how much we are going to be making, I mean, using for this pot. And to be honest, we made a huge pot, so we um, were eating this for four days straight. That's how much um, soup we made. And you want to be um, mindful. You taste it little at a time because, you know, um, we did have to season it with salt and pepper a few times because it was a huge pot. So... Always make sure you taste your food and then adjust the seasonings to your liking. And we also did add some cayenne pepper and a little bit more salt. Um, it does 
require a good amount of salt. This was our first time making it, so we had to put a little bit of salt like three times because um, like a little bit at a time, you know what I mean? We didn't overdo it with the salt, but because there's so much vegetables and liquids and stuff like that in our chicken broth or chicken stock wasn't salty, um, we had to use salt. So here our soup is looking nice and thick. And you want to let this boil for a while, maybe 35 to 40 minutes, because you want the um, potatoes. You want the broccoli to get super soft. You want to make sure that you can take one of the broccolis with the back of your spoon and almost like break it with the spoon. That's how soft you want it. If you don't want it tough, you can turn it off earlier than that. You know what I mean? So it all depends on you and your preference. Okay, you guys, so right now we are going to be adding two blocks of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And at this point, this is when the soup is going to take that color that you want. Because at first, Donnie was like, I don't know about this. Um, she was a little scared because it was looking too pale. And at one point, she thought the soup was breaking. But it actually looks like that because of the milk and all that. So you have to let it, you know, cook. Do its thing. Yeah, and then add the cheese. And that's when you get the sharp cheddar cheese flavor and then the color. And we also did turn off our stove when we were adding the cheese. And just take your time adding the cheese because since it's super cold, it feels like it's never going to melt. But it does melt. As you can see, the color is changing. So we hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let us know down below if you want to see more recipes like that. And stay tuned to the end of the video because we are eating it in camera. Thank you so much for always supporting us, watching, and stay tuned. Yo, my soup is steaming. What do you expect? Huh? Steaming, dreaming. All right? Yo, you ready to film or not? I'm just going to put it here in the middle. Just slam it on the table. <laughs> oh my god. What's good you guys? <clears throat> Today we are having soup. This is the second day we record this video. Mm -hmm. Um we're losers by this point. <laughs> we're such losers. It's ridiculous, right? You're a loser, not me. Don't talk to me, D. So we filmed this video, the cooking recipe on Wednesday. So initially we were like, yeah, we're going to do a mukbang right after. After I finished recording that video, I'm like, nah, I want to eat with the family. I do not want to film. I don't want to do a mukbang. So we had soup with the family that night. Then Thursday, which was yesterday, we did it again. We did the, after we worked out, showered and everything. We did this video. We didn't like how it came out. So now Friday, we're eating soup again for the third time. And I'm like, yo, we better get it right because we already promised them this video. And this soup tastes way better than Panera Breads. So it tastes better every day. But yeah, if you went to Panera Bread and you tried it and you was like, yo. I put chunks of cheese on mine extra today. The hype is not real for Panera Bread. It isn't. Make it at home. Seriously. You guys, like, I woke up so tired today, um, and I think it's because we've been going hard, like, working out. Mm -hmm. Like, I was so tired and sleeping that my butt was hurting. That's how bad, like, sore. Um, mm -hmm. And I was supposed to work out today, and I haven't yet. I'm deciding if I should work out today or just do it tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to do yoga. So, I'm debating what I should do tomorrow. I think I'm gonna... I feel kind of guilty if I don't work out, but then I'm like, you did four days this week. Mm -hmm. Like, you're OD sore. Like, mm -hmm. it's just because it's a 20-minute workout. I'm like, you can't give 20 minutes for yourself. Mm -hmm. So, like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um go upstairs, do my arm workout. Darlene's gonna do hers. And then we'll decide if we want to get on the bike tonight. Which I think we will. Before we go to bed, because we don't got nothing to do tonight, so. Yeah, know. I think we will, because <clears throat> I'd be so guilty. Mm -hmm. My mind be playing games on me. And I like that, actually, because it keeps me on check. It keeps me on my uh, routine. 
I woke up kind of funky today. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm tired, you know, doing these trainings. Like, I'm on lunch right now, but it's just like a lot. Like, every day is more and more that I'm learning. And I get the stuff, but, you know, when you're starting something new, it's just like so much stuff being thrown at you that it's just like never ending. We're what, in second week? Mm -hmm. But this second. is really like your first week, because the first week was like... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, so they're gonna, they were like, oh, it was a three or four week training. So now it's basically gonna be like a five week training because the first week didn't no. count. It's two more weeks and we're done. Oh, okay. Yeah, two more weeks and we're done. Oh, we I just gotta I... do um, role plays still, which I hate doing role plays because when they I- They put yeah, you in the spot. Yeah, and I think it's because there's so many people that are already experienced there. There's only like four of us that are new, but I'll get it down pat. I'm not wor really worried about it. It's just like when you, you know, you're so used to like knowing everything in your job and then starting something new. It's just like, yeah, me guys. I didn't even want to eat today. Like we, we had a meal planned today for dinner, a healthy meal. And it's like, we're in just, a food right. Mm -hmm. And I was telling my dad yesterday this and I had no idea he would understand. I was like, yo, I'm sick of effing food. Like I'm tired of eating. I just feel like, and I've been there before, even when I was, you know, plus size, you get into a food rut. You don't know what to cook. You're tired. There was days that me, Darlene, and Jose will wake up and we'll be like, what are we going to eat? It would take us like two to three hours. Two to today. three hours to figure out what are we going to eat today? Even yeah. yesterday we had fried eggs with rice. Yeah. And we don't, we don't usually eat stuff like that. Like it's a, it's a go-to for Hispanics. Um, to eat that, and we love eating that, and it was mad good yesterday. Yeah, I had it but, with ketchup because I was like, the boys ate something else. Mm -hmm. they, we made them. We didn't even snack last night. We usually snack at night, like um, hummus and pretzels and stuff like that. We did not snack last night. It's just like I haven't even been wanting to eat at all. Yeah, if I didn't have to do like this, this video, I was not going to eat this because mm -hmm. this is delicious. Don't get me wrong. I was going to eat it at some point, but... I'm just like, ew, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, it's Friday, it's payday, I need to even check my bank account yet. Nothing, I gotta buy some stuff. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't even want to do that. I gotta buy some stuff, I don't, I don't even have the energy for that. You know what I mean? Like, it's really gloomy out here. There's gonna be a major snowstorm on Sunday. Um, I mean, we're doing pretty good. We just kind of, mm -hmm. I think it's because we just woke up. Mm -hmm. You know, Darlene's working a lot. I'm working out a lot. And we just tired. Mm -hmm. we a just, good tired. Yeah. A good tired. And Shout just, out to everybody that's been giving us compliments and saying y'all look so good. We got, we're inspiring you guys. You know, thank you guys so much for all the love, for the support. Mm -hmm. Um, no, you don't want no crackers? Yeah, I have some. Oh, I didn't know this. So, yeah. We've just been dealing with it. And then, you want to you wanna tell them the story about yesterday, about the email that we were sending them? Or you want to oh. keep that out? Yo, when I tell you, Darlene was so pissed off yesterday at one point, not the whole day, you know, because, you know, shit happens all the time and you got to get over at one point. So she tells me yesterday that company that we told you that wanted to work with us, they still keep emailing us, you guys. What I was saying all about them, they emailing us, um, basically begging us to work with them and they're trying to give us more money. Mm -hmm. And we was really going to go off on them. I told Darlene, let's curse them the fuck out and send them an email. Well, I wasn't going to curse them out. I was Darlene gonna... wasn't, but then my dad was like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. And I'm like, I'm just like, you know, if you don't know who you are as a human being, as a woman, as a minority, especially on this platform, these companies will make you feel like this, like you don't exist, you know? Um, and yeah, because they first started saying they were going to send us the phone, I tell them to send me the latest and greatest for a giveaway. And then y'all want to come and hit us, slap us in the face with, well, you don't have the amount of views or um, per video. So why the fuck are you telling us you're going to send us the iPhone 8? 
Yeah, and why would you saying? keep emailing us? And that now, doesn't make no sense. Now they're only saying that they're going to send us the iPhone 8. Mm -hmm. You could shove that so far up your booty butt that, you know, it comes out your ears. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. You know, like... See, they don't know how to communicate because mm -hmm. which one is it? Do we have the numbers or we don't? Mm -hmm. And they're offering us more money. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing it unless y'all giving me five hundred dollars, point blank period. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it. We're mm -hmm. not. We're not. I'm not bending or folding for a hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty. That don't work over mm -hmm. here. So you know, if you have your own platform, it don't matter how many numbers you got. If you know who you are and what you have to offer, and you're. Um, the feedback that the subscribers give you, don't worry about these companies. Yeah. Work hard and pay for your own stuff. That way you don't have to depend on companies. And that's the thing. A lot of people on this platform, oh, I want to work with companies. Oh, I want to get sponsored. Oh, I want to, you know, mm -hmm. get money from a company. Like, wait your turn. When it's your turn, it will happen. Like, what's the theme to just receive free stuff? You don't work? Mm -hmm. You don't have another job that you could buy your own stuff? Like... When I get sent free stuff and I have to do these videos, it's a chore for me. It's like me writing a research paper because it's a lot of pressure. You got to do this. If the video is not up to their standards and you got to do a lot, it's a lot of qualifications that you got to pass to put the video out. Mm -hmm. You got to redo that video. If it's not right the right way, and thank God we do the videos right. The only thing that we mess up on is on the description sometimes or like uh, writing certain things in the description bar. Or the title. That's the only thing. But there's times that people got to do these videos all over again. And you, you know. got to send it to a team. Mm -hmm. You have to put the video on private. Mm -hmm. It's just. It's not. It's fun and games. You know. Mm -hmm. And for us. We have yet to get paid from a company. To do a video. We mm -hmm. do all these videos for free. Mm -hmm. You know. Like if I like the company. If I believe in the product. Just send me the product. Mm -hmm. We just had a company today. Reach out for the second time. A company that wants us to do something with coffee. You know, I'm not a huge coffee drinker. Like, so, you know, I don't know whether I'm going to do that video or not. Because it's like, you know, it's there's not, just certain things that is not worth it for us. This is the second company that hits us up this week with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's just like, you know, we appreciate it and stuff like that. But it's just like, if we don't drink certain things, like, what's the use? We're just going to have it sitting there. I mean, Dad drinks coffee, but yeah, Daddy does. Daddy he drinks, drinks coffee every day, so, so yeah, you know, I think that's it, right? Yeah, um, we're actually gonna go do our arm workouts, I think, um, and um, shower, get ready to go back to training because you mm -hmm. know, in between, video. in between all that, see if I do nails tonight. We'll see. Um, so either I do nails tonight or tomorrow, either day, yeah. Saturday or Sunday, like break it up because I'd be tired, you guys. I don't have no days off at all. So, yeah, yeah. I'm about to clean. So, yeah, that's my chore. Clean, cook dinner and all that. We hope you guys are doing well. Sorry for the blindness. Mm -hmm. You know, we just keeping it real. You know, every day is not peaches and cream, mm -hmm. even though today we're having peaches, but not the cream. It still don't matter. Are we having peaches? Yeah. Where? It's a joke, D. Oh, oh my God. My she, peaches? We're not having no peaches. She's so dumb. Like, so, she's so dumb. We hope you guys have a good weekend. Yeah. And Mar happy Martin Luther King Day because it's Monday. Um, and have a good weekend, you guys. So Bye, guys.